Hello and welcome. We're going to get into another video. In today's video, we are featuring a team I went 11 0 with. Uh, why not 13 0? Because I lost the 13 game. Okay, 12 win streak uh, using this team. It's, uh, it consists of a Dragapult, which is uh, the newly released uh, dragon, running Astonish, Shadow Ball, Baking Swipe. Uh, you could run the second evolution, but the second evolution does not have Baking Swipe. So that's like the biggest downside about it. Uh, Safe Swap, as it would, Bubble, Play Rough, Ice Beam. You could actually run. Uh, uh, hydro pump if you want but i've never been a fan of hydro pump to be honest and in the in the back we have shadow drapion as a counter swap to those grass uh, well technically most of the time if you win the raid you're gonna win the swap but we have shadow drapion in case they do have a non-shadow fidelligator in the swap so i can just go drapion and win the swap back uh without further ado let's just go and watch these battles and in the battle number one we are we are picking up a decent lead and it's a Shadow Machamp. Dragapult destroys everything about Shadow Machamp. They swap and Gator, we instantly go to uh, Drapion. If they are non-Shadow, you could easily tank a move here. If they are Shadow, you actually have to bait. But usually if they have Azu, so if they have, uh, if you win the lead that hard, like if they have a fighter, you can just go Drapion and uh, play the one shield so since we landed the crunch we can just go fully and farm down with the azu at this point because hydro doesn't do that much damage and energy on azu is always good uh, remember that now they have a machamp uh, a useless machamp you could say that because machamp does not has uh, have a play in, into uh, azu and azu should destroys it uh i don't think i'm going to shield here because I'm planning to save my shield and I'm trying to get my last shield. They have a Clothesire and Dragapult is good literally because of Clothesire and Toxapex and Talonflame. Those Pokemons just get demolished by this little dragon that shoots babies. Look at that. That Those things on like the Dreepy on his head is like actually like he used them to attack his enemies. So this Pokemon used its own child to make a good attack. I don't know how did they allow that in Pokemon but hey. Somebody put that to Pokemon, okay? Pokemons are not allowed to attack with babies. That's 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 a child abuse. It's an actual like different level of child abuse. And moving the next game, uh, upon swapping in a Shadow Fit Alligator. I think this is a trend. So I have to shield at this point, and I'm like, what am I supposed to do? I'm just going to instantly crunch, uh, because I was like, I wanted to bait. I'm like, what if they no shield like that? See? Well, we're just going to take them out with one crunch. And uh, now they should bring in the Machamp, and I think I'm just going to throw the Aqua Tail uh, on four. And they did no shield, and I'm going to try to swap out with catching a move. This should be a nuke, and it's payback. Who runs payback? You need to run Stone Edge. Don't run Payback. Okay, guys? Don't run Payback. I think my opponent just doesn't want to tee him off his Machamp. But, hey, I don't think it's good. You need the other Legacy move. They bring in the Cloud Sire. We are up. We are similar shield scenario. I don't think I need to shield. I think they over farmed by, by, by a ton. I'm just going to go Drapion now because they are they over farmed. So I need them to use their energy here. And Sludge does not KO the Drapion, remember. So they have to EQ. Uh, at this point, this should be able to grab a shield. And I'm not swapping out until they throw. Okay, I'm not swapping out. You have to throw this charge move, my friend. And see, they have the EQ. And now, all we need to do is just one breaking swipe. We're going to shield this. This is going to be slide, more likely going to be an EQ. Because uh, baiting is their lose con. Nuking, though, is their win con. I have two moves. I don't care what, whether they catch or no. And we have one move for Machamp. One move for the Cloud Side. Dragapult finishing the game against two meta Pokemons. Okay. Moving into the next one. Dragapult into Sir Peter. Amazing lead. Uh, they have a Dunspots. So I hate Dunspots so much to the point where like, I'm willing to risk this game for like the sake of RNG. So I'm just going to throw the Breaking Swipe to get the attack fell. Ideally, you're supposed to go Azu, but hey, I'm just doing this because I hate that Pokemon. And that was a 5-0 set. We are at 24-06. Uh, Chestnut, another amazing lead. Uh, hopefully they don't swap Gator. Uh, they swap a Nidoqueen. So in this matchup, they are only able to get two Poison Fangs or one Nuke. Okay? Because Dragapult just hit insanely hard. We're going to shield this. If they, this is a Poison Fang, they might be able to get another one. No, it's a Stone Edge. We will farm all the way down. Now, if they bring in something that's a neutral to Drapion, I'm supposed to go to Drapion. 
and you can see it's not neutral but it's playable so i'm going for the crunch here fishing for the debuff it's supposed to go aqua tail but i like to believe that they do the same amount of damage we get the debuff we cmp on the aqua tail what can go wrong at this point i think at this point this game is gg there is no way they can win unless they under the charge they do under the charge now i have to stall my clock for a bit uh, we can go Azu. The moment they swap, we should be swapping. Just as simple as that. Uh, this is where they usually swap. We're going to swap. Throw the Shadow Ball. They, why am I Shadow Balling? They are full HP. Uh, there is no way to bluff. Because if they no shield a bit, I lose. Uh, this is, I think, a superpower or a frenzy. It doesn't matter because I'm not shielding. All I need is just to farm them all the way down. I think this is a superpower. But hey, I'm 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 going to shield it. Okay? Why? Uh, there is... I wasn't counting there, so I'm like, I'm like, what if it's the other one, right? So we have to shield. Uh, first one, and I think we should live no matter what they have. I think they are going straight for the hybrid beam, which they need one more fast move to get. We get to the ice beam, we take them out. And that was a nice game. Moving into the next one, Dragapult into Sand Slash. Horrible lead. How do we play this? I'm just going to go to Azo to be honest. Because by the time I figure out the fast move, I will be half HP. So I would rather just get the hell out. Uh, they are a bit chipped now. So the matchup is not as tough. They bring in Gastrodon. So in this matchup, I think you need an, uh, two play roughs. Uh, usually you can just settle for... Oh, I tapped the Ice Beam here for no reason. So I think we live with one HP. And the mistake here is that we tapped Ice Beam. But it shouldn't be a big mistake because I can just farm all the way down. They are at 1. I think I should KO before they get to the move. And now when they bring in the thing, I can just actually shield, do 1, then throw a Breaking Swipe. Because the Breaking Swipe just does so much damage. I need the, the, the debuff, by the way. We didn't, yeah, okay, we got the debuff. I'm like, we need the debuff, we got the debuff. And I think this is where like the, the win streak ended. Because this matchup at this point is not winnable. I threw on bad timing. Now I see how did I lose this game. Oh my. So when you swap in. When you swap in. After a charge move. You throw in 1 for 7. But I thought like. Ah, now I see the mistake. Yeah. This game was winnable. I think. Because two Aqua Tails should do it. I mean. AWAC is, is a bit bulky. I don't think it. It's kind of close. Uh, the next game. Okay. We have a Gligar. Uh, I, I'm going to shield this. I am assuming they are around the dig. They do have the dig. And now they swap in Toxapex. So I'm going to do three. going to do three. Then throw a Shadow Ball. The Shadow Ball should do uh, lots of damage. Opponent decided to shield. Why? Why would you shield that? You're supposed to not shield your Toxapex. My friend. The play now. What is it? It's going to be going to Drapion. Uh, Brian doesn't do that much damage. So we are going to let, let this go over farm a bit. Uh, okay. Since we <laughs> did not throw there. We can keep over farming. Now uh, get to more than two. And then Aqua Tail. Because Aqua Tail should do it to be honest. And now uh, we have to. I'm going to crunch whatever comes in. Because if I get a debuff. I can make my life easier. They bring in Feraligator. I think I should get to under Aqua Tail. If I stay in. And did I get the debuff? It doesn't show that I get I got the debuff. So uh, this situation with no shielding, with no shielding at all, and just throwing the uh, the player off. Uh, this matchup is kind of annoying in the zero because player off does not KO and you still can't bubble down. It's good in the one though, but I'm not going to shield at all. Like uh, yeah, this this might KO. I think I live with one HP or something. No, it does KO. Uh, we're just gonna go Dragapult to point realize they can't win and then they left the game. Uh, this is a horrible, horrible lead. Yeah, I usually try to throw a breaking swipe then dip to my own Drapion because this does so much damage. So I'm gonna throw a... Uh, no, I'm going to bank a move and swap. I don't know why. They bring in a Greninja. So uh, I think two crunches can KO from Shadow. So I needed to throw another crunch but I was like they are one away from the Hydro. So that's why I threw the move. And now I can't shield. And well, we won the swap. But uh, what can we do with the swap? We have to go Azu and pray that they don't have a sludge. They don't run sludge on uh, on Shadow. Uh, they do run that. They might run that on the uh, Ultra League one. Uh, they have the annoying jump luff. At least it's Shadow. So we're gonna do. We, 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 we're going to do more damage. I think this is an aerial ace, but I have to shield. I'm going to get. I need to get a debuff. Okay, if we get a debuff, we are in a much better situation. And the play now is get the debuff. Okay, 
I should live the aerial ace. Yes, we do. We do one then throw. They bring in a Drapion. I think this will take out the Drapion though. So I don't know how good this display is. And now all I need to do is just bubble down. I do live an energy ball. So uh, that's why jump love kind of suck to be honest. It's it's not ideal. It's not as good. So I'm just going to get it to ice beams. Throw them back to back. I don't think I do live one fairy wind. I, I think I do live. So I could have just bubbled all the way down. So yeah, uh, that's uh, this matchup. Okay, technically we get a, ho a horrible lead. But it, it, it was playable at least. Next game, Toxapex. Amazing lead. I call it an amazing lead because it's actually a very, very good lead for us. Uh, this is the Brian. We don't shield the Brian's. And uh, we can throw in good timing. The Shadow Ball does so much damage here. So uh, this... Can I farm down? I don't think I can farm down. That's the annoying part. So I'm going to catch on Azu. So usually when they have Toxapix, that's their only Azu counter, right? So now, why did I catch on Azu? Because they shouldn't have another counter. So if I can catch a Brian on my Azu after taking out the Toxapix, that's going to be like a good play. Because now watch, my Azu is on energy lead. Whatever they have is weak to Azu. So energy on Azu is going to be insanely good. Uh, remember that we still have two Pokemons alive. One of them is full HP. The other one is loaded on energy. So do I care about winning this? No, but I can easily win this because I am on energy lead. I'm doing super effective damage and show your other Pokemon that's weak to it. And it is Talon Flame. Uh, I did two then throw because if I do a third one since I swapped in, it will be uh, alignment and then they would sneak in an entire incinerate. So that there, what the ideal timing was one or two, the second best option. And that's a another, I think that was a 4-1 set. But yeah, uh, overall, I think I went 12-0 12, uh, 12 with this team. And do we have mod sets? Yeah, we have mod sets. Because why not, right? Uh, next set, I think it was a 4-1. So the team is overall solid. Uh, I, if, if you might struggle a bit against Feraligator, but it should be manageable, okay? I tried to feature all the... Uh, all the Feraligator games, so that's why uh, this is not the 12 streak when uh, that the 12 zero streaks because I didn't get as many Feraligators. So for those people who's like, oh, this team is weak to Feraligator, I literally featured all the Feraligator teams, okay, uh, intentionally. So you you don't say that. And I'm I'm telling you this, I'm gonna let I'm gonna get lots of comments saying that this team is weak to Feraligator. Like just just wait for it. I swear, like some people just look at the team and oh, this team is weak to Feraligator and leave a comment that this team is weak to Feraligator without even watching. It's like similar to those people's like, uh, what move do you run on this Pokemon? And it's literally right there, like on the screen. So for those people who watch the videos, I appreciate your time. You are very kind and I hope these videos are very helpful for you and I appreciate your support because you're the best. That's all I can say. Thank you so much for the support. And I appreciate your time watching these videos. And I appreciate you supporting the channel by subscribing or liking the videos. And I hope they do benefit you. Uh, I think this matchup is unwinnable at this point as Dugong is kind of a freak. I'm just going to try to throw a crunch here. And I don't think a crunch, second crunch. Though this is going to be an icy one. I think I should have shielded the first one. But I was like, my, my win con is calling a bait. And now this crunch is so debuffed and it doesn't do it. It just doesn't do it. Uh, wait, can I still win this game? No. Yeah, we lag there, but it doesn't matter. They still have another Pokemon up. Uh, we're playing Scene early. He's he's running Breloom. I, I think he's just trolling. What is this team, Mr. Scene? He's a he's a, uh, he's a Canadian player from Toronto. Uh, he's a, a big troll on my Twitch channel or, or the other Twitch channels. If you see him around, he's one of the kindest souls Okay, that you could ever meet. Uh, he's running Walrein. I don't know why. I think he's running Walrein as as he because he preferred it more over Dugong, I think. So we're gonna throw the player off. This player off will take out the Walrein. And well, Shadow Walrein is, is better against Azu than non Shadow. And uh, now I think I'm just going to swap out no matter what. And they do have a Force Bomb, uh, Breloom. Oh my, they live with 1 HP and they do have a Talon Flame. So their entire team is kind of core broken by uh, by Drapion, by Dragapult, by Azu. So this is a very tough alignment. This Pokemon is just extremely tough for them to beat. I don't know if there is a way for them to win, to be honest, as like this team is just an Omega Heart counter. I'm going to do one then swap 
So this is the way that the fast move does not does, does not register on uh, Dragapult. So I'm going to do another one, then throw. Then I'm going to do another one because it's a three turn against five. So I can do a fast move and then throw a charge move before their fast move register. That's how the game work. I know some people call it exploits. No, that's literally how the game work. Uh, this is a very interesting game where like I get a hard counter lead. And opponent here is catching on for alligator. They usually, if they catch, they don't shield. So what's the play now? I am, I'm going to shield. I am going to shield this. Uh, why am I crunching even though they will shield this 100%? I don't know because I was like, they have a Dragonite. They most likely will call a bait, right? So what's the play here? Well, we will see. I think I have to shield and farm all the way down because I need to flip alignment. And we do flip the alignment. They bring in an as We do one, then crunch. I do need a crunch debuff. A crunch debuff can actually flip this game. Uh, we get the crunch debuff. We get DRE here. Oh my. Yeah, this 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 opponent got, uh, has, has gotten robbed in this game. I'm going to Dragapult to soak all the energy. And to be fair, those Astonish did so much damage. Okay, they did so much damage. And now I think I do win this game because my Azu is full HP. They have an Azu that does not have any HP and a Dragonite in the back. So my play is straight Ice Beam. I don't care what they do. I'm going to straight Ice Beam and bubble all the way down after. Okay. And now I'm not going to throw. I need to over farm. There is no point of throwing here. So we need to over farm as much as possible. Now we throw. Uh, we throw uh, once we are at 99. And now all I need is one Ice Beam. And this will take care of the Dragonite. Bye bye Dragonite. And see you next game. I oh, was the last one. No, this is the last one. This is a horrible lead. I don't know how I'm supposed to win this. Because they will literally Icy Wind and go to something like uh, Cloud Side. That's what, had, what I've seen people doing. Throw a uh, Icy Wind and then go to Cloud Side. Never mind. They are staying in. I guess they want to soak my energy. Okay, now they go to Talon Flame. That's weird, the trainer. I don't think you win this. So we're going to we're going to no shield and then swap out, save all the energy. Uh, they do get to a fly here. We're gonna shield the fly, do three, then throw. That's how timing work. So we're gonna do one, two, three. I have to throw here because they are uh, they are at a second fly. Uh, breaking swipe does take care of the uh, the Talon Flame, and now I'm throwing on CMP against the. Uh, no, that wasn't a CMP. I did not see a fast move sneaking in. Sometimes like, oh, you get deny them. No, you. if you don't see it, that means they got it. And I made a miscount here. Oh my, yeah. Well, that means they snuck, okay? That means they snuck. Now we're just going to go to Drapion and hopefully get those uh, shields down. Uh, Drift Blim upper shield is very, very annoying. I need them to go straight Shadow Ball and not debuff me. So hopefully they Shadow Ball here. They do Shadow Ball, so now I have a play which is like Crunch and then swap to Azu. My Azu is so loaded on energy. Yeah. I did. Why did I do two? Because the second I knew I needed to make sure that the second Astonish registered on the Azu and my uh, talent, my my thing has a move uh, ready to go. It's not ready to go technically. And now I'm going to go back to Drapion. Do two, then throw. See, guys, that's how the game work. And I think Dugong is literally at one health. So my Poison Sting will register before their Dugong, and that was a nice game. And to be honest, that was a very difficult game. Thank you so much everyone for watching. This is the end of the video. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And yeah, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, night, or whatever you're having. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.